I just discovered something amazing in my messy garden. Some little fairy wrens have decided to make a nest. That's so exciting. I hope I don't scare them off by my activity, although she didn't seem the least bit scared when I was here. So I'll just show you where it is. This is where I had my beans growing. And it's, oh there we are. Just in there. So I might sit here for a minute and see if she brings something else in. learning to change in my gardening style and something that I've learned from permaculture is not having to have a tidy garden where everything's in perfect rows um, because when you have a garden like that you don't provide a habitat for the insects and animals that you need in your garden to help control the pests and it also makes it very easy for pests to find and discover their favorite food source so Having a little bit of mess in your garden, as we can just see, encourages the little birds to come in and nest in amongst um, your, your plants. And that actually helps to control the bugs, because these guys love eating bugs. Well, I better go before I disturb her too much and she decides to nest somewhere else. So to go with my messy garden, these are things that I've discovered that the birds are just loving for building their nests. So this is biodegradable rope that we used um, for, well, I think it was gird here last, or beans or something like that. So the birds have been stripping that and using it to line their nests. And the other thing that they love is this natural fiber string that I use for holding the tomatoes. You can see some of them have just been completely shredded. I actually had to retie some because they had shredded it so much it was going to fall off. So yeah, they really, really love this, especially um, the noisy miners have been crazy busy on that. So. Yeah, just having some bits and pieces around you and lots of little grassy spots um, for the birds to, to hide in and places they can put their nest is a, a great way to attract them to your garden.